I'm giving Cindy a house tour. <laughs> right here. My favorite winter perfume. Yeah, they'll see if there's like any obstruction and you think of the food. It's so good. <laughs> I'm giving Sunni a house hey. tour. <laughs> so this is the entrance, uh -huh. as you can see. And then you've already been to the bathroom. This is our storeroom. Like, please don't judge the state of my storeroom. Mm -hmm. It was already better than before because I've got these cabinets in here. Mm -hmm. Why do you have chocolates in your storeroom? Dude, we have so much chocolate and junk in this house. Mm -hmm. Also, I've gone to Italy, no? So, yeah, Tobalama, I've gone so much. I went, much. I went, no, I went uh, for uh, my friend's wedding, okay? Mm. Ani. This is like our TV room. So, this is a lot we need to do, like, for instance, like these curtains and stuff. We're gonna change everything. It's just like slowly, okay? Ignore that mattress. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then this is the kitchen, of course. And the, the dining room. This is and our that. bedroom. So actually, the master is the other room, I know, uh -huh. but we um, want to be able to have a view of the front gate, okay? so mm -hmm. that's why we stay here. Oh my god, you're going to be so proud of me. Why? This bed hmm. was here. Uh -huh. That's why it like, looks unfinished, because uh -huh. we had it literally uh -huh. ripped out and put here because of the direction your head's not supposed to be to the north. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you proud of me? Yeah. <laughs> I am. I was like, it's really not necessary. Like, I don't want to have to pay for somebody to come do this. But then everyone was like, do the garden, they know, like, it don't mean not a moon. So, and then like, Jeevi. Everyone who came to the house said it. So, Jeevi liked that it affected him. He was just like, no, like, it could be wrong. We're in North Mass Fitness. So, we changed that. Yeah. I like the view in the whole room. Yeah. And then there's a little storeroom situation in there. I'll show you. Hold on. This is JB's yoga room. I did yoga with him for like three days and I was like, I'm going to actually off myself. Wow. So I just can't. I can't. It's not me. He was like so desperately wanted me to join him. He's like, I don't know. It's hard too. It's not easy at all. Like the, he does pretty advanced. I have major wrist issues. So the one position that really triggers my wrist injury is like when I'm like put my body weight on like yeah. that is like the one the main posture like you know yeah. like of yoga so if yeah. I can't do that yeah. then what can I really do like that really affects me that's what they were telling me and I was like I don't want to do that my friends left a few hours ago since then I've just been resting and just like doing some work on my laptop and Jamie just got home it's probably around like 6 o'clock or something right now and we have a situation because yesterday our cook Gita got stung by a wasp <laughs> on one of our balconies and that's how we discovered that we had a wasp's nest then upon further investigation we found that we have three wasps nests in our house <coughs> so we have called in the professionals because wasps are obviously super dangerous for kids, for dogs, and obviously for us as well, but especially because we have a small child that lives with us. And then we have Russ, of course, so the professionals are here. So the biggest one is right there. 
And then we have another one right there. Yeah, yeah and then we have two here. I thought there's just one here. Oh, so there's mm -hmm. one here in this corner. Oh my god, and another one there in this corner. Boyo? Yeah, the one I want to explain something to you. There are wasps in this household. Do you understand me? And if they bite you, it's going to hurt a lot and you could literally die. So can you like please not be yourself and be an idiot? Because that would be very nice of you. He's like, what? You know, I feel like your son's son is only all this hall. I told him to have a look all around the house. It's 11.30 a.m. and JB and I are just getting ready to leave the house. He had yoga this morning and I went to the gym, freshened up. So this is what I'm wearing. Hold on. Today we have an event at the Summit Airlines office because I believe they've just shifted to a new office. So there's a celebration over there. Hari, the nice steamer bunny set up got it. I think we have arrived at the new office space. Looks amazing. It looks so nice, right? You like it? It's like so nice and fresh. Oh, I really like that. I want to take a video of that. That looks really nice. Right here. The new office space looks incredible, just so open and fresh. I was here less than a year ago, this was just empty land. So they've made so much progress. And congratulations to the entire Summit Air team. Operation Department team. Wow, hello, Nancy. Hi, how are you? <laughs> office of a number, I'm a bonus. Whose office is this? Mine. Is this your office? <laughs> <laughs> Love it. I just can't get over this was like empty austere like this land and now it's like a whole office. Looks great. There's what? Oh my god, yeah. It says first check aircraft. This is the new CEO. <laughs> chairman and CEO of Summit Air. The chairman is here. The new chairman. <laughs> oh, what do you think of the new office building? We'd like your opinion, please. Yeah, we'd like your opinion, please. <laughs> Are you impressed? He's not impressed. He wants a bigger office. He wants the biggest office with the biggest chair. <laughs> Hi, everyone. So it's the next day, or I don't know when the last time I filmed was, but it's about 12.15, and today I have some of my girlfriends coming over for lunch because it is my cousin's birthday so we're celebrating that and then also some of my girls haven't come over to my house yet so that's why everybody's coming over today i've been like cooking since this morning and i just like was so frazzled that i just couldn't even like bring myself to pick up the camera because it's just so distracting i feel like when i'm not filming then i can just cook you know in my own pace i have the chicken katsudon miso soup and the gomai which i made last time then i made this different type of cucumber salad and then i made this cabbage salad i've been dreaming of this cabbage salad i don't i haven't had it in a while but sometimes they give it at certain japanese restaurants it kind of has like a mayonnaise type dressing it's really really good it doesn't sound good but it's really good so i made that i also made pickled radish and carrot and then we also have edamame topped with crunchy garlic sauce i'll just show you it'll be easier this is the cucumber and the radish this is the cabbage salad this is spicy garlic edamame we have pickled carrots with this like sesame sauce and then we have our gomai 
Please tell the vlog what this is. These are my books. What, what books? These Nine are the your photo yeah. books. Okay. Okay. So oh. you have for a wedding, we have oh. something called a lay flat. Oh. The reason why it's called lay flat because it's I just realized my camera's not even pointing at you. Okay, sorry, sorry. Oh. So, I know. Oh. And then we have a hard cover. So this okay. is like 8 by 10. You can do either matte or mm -hmm. you can do like your mm. other. What's the ramen bag one on there? Yeah, make it. And yours is the smallest one. So I can say no need. Keep out your head. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I keep forgetting about that. Very nice, Niti. Do we get a friend discount? Yeah. Yes. And then we have magnets. Oh, wow. Oh, so cute. I want them for my fridge. Yeah. Send me some. Okay, one time. My friends left and it's now the evening and I am in my happy place which is my maxi and we have probably the fifth electrician who's come to this house here because ever since we moved in we've had so many electrical issues like the car is charging we can't turn on the AC the lights go off multiple times a day there's like something just like really wrong Anyway, so JB is handling that because that is his department. But what my department is, is to show you that there is a rainbow. I feel like I haven't seen a rainbow in a really long time. <laughs> it's such a perfect rainbow. It's so cute. Rossi! Papa, did you see the rainbow? Did you see the rainbow? Anyways. Let's hope this electrician that I can figure our stuff out because at this point it's getting ridiculous. All of this means absolutely nothing to me. I'm just a girly living her life and I don't know what the hell Ampere's or whatever the F they're talking about is. And I have no desire to know. If my dad's watching this, he's going to be very disappointed because he was really hoping that once we move into our own house, I'll be really responsible and learn about all these electrical things. Dude, I don't even know how the water in my house works. That is like JB's department and Hari's department. How electricity works in this household, couldn't tell you. I just want my AC to work. I don't want the lights to go off. And that, my friend, is why I have my husband. By the way, JB also did study engineering at one point. So that's why he like kind of understands all of this stuff. But to me, I'm just like... Just make it work. I was just saying my dad is so hopeful okay, that now that we moved into our house, like I'll know how water works. Oh my god, this is the same plant. What? It's a poisonous plant, right? Is Holy. it? Isn't this lavender? I shouldn't be doing this because he literally told me not to go near the plants today, but isn't that lavender? He's also really good at gardening. My husband discovered. <laughs> Please. Uh... <laughs> we had these creepers that basically go up that we're climbing up these poles or whatever you call them and they were growing at an exponential rate like since when we moved in like literally a month later they were all the way up and for some reason jb felt like that was like abnormal so he ended up looking it up by the way don't go near the plant because he lo and behold be on the turns out that it was super poisonous no this looks different that was for dogs for children etc Mm, this has, yeah, maybe it is the same thing, baby. So this is also poison. I thought this whole time I thought this was lavender. This is not lavender. Cute. Wisteria. Oh yeah, wisteria. That's what it was because of. Wisteria though, you know. Wisteria. Look up lavender. What is actually? You know what? This is in lavender. Because I think I know what lavender looks like because we had it in um, Vancouver. Leaves there. No, what's mean? It does look like lavender. Leaves are in, I see leaves are in. So can you zoom in? Yeah. If anyone knows if this is poisonous, yeah, do let us know. Mm. Hey guys, so 
we have a couple that lives with us. Their names are Gita and Hari, and they have a four-year-old son. His name is Samarth, and today is his last day of his little summer break before he has to go back to school tomorrow. So I thought I would give him a little treat, a little back-to-school gift by taking him to jump uh, KTM. I don't think he's ever been anywhere place like this, and I just thought it would be like a fun activity for him. And honestly for his parents as well because I freaking love jump. Every single time I've ever gone there, I've had a blast. So I thought it would be a cute family excursion for them. So that is what we're gonna do right now. Here's my rusty poo. I'm sorry, Papa, you can't come, okay? But I'll probably be home at, in like two hours tops. And yeah, JB's not joining us because he has a ton of meetings today. So he is just like doing his own thing. I've been home all day today. I went to the gym in the morning and then I've just been working all day. And I'm like kind of getting a headache staring at the screen. So I think this is a good little break for me as well. So yeah, let's go along on this little adventure together. Okay, and you turn off this TV. I'm gonna have a last drink of water. And it's time to head out. <laughs> I think Samarth really enjoyed himself. So we're gonna head home. I need to start dinner because Jibi's gonna come home. I, I'm out of ideas of what to make, but I know I have some eggplant, so I may make this like spicy Chinese braised eggplant. If not, I also have some seasoning packets left from Thailand that my Maizu got me, so I might just make something with that. I already took out minced pork this morning. So I have that defrosted, so we'll figure it out when we get home because my husband always comes home hungry. Always gotta feed him. I'm so sad. I came home, went straight to the kitchen, started prepping everything for my eggplant dish. And then for some reason decided to prep my eggplant last. Started cutting the eggplant and realized the eggplant has gone bad. So that was a fail, but luckily I'd taken out that minced pork. So I just whipped up a quick Thai stir fry with some seed, with just like a seasoning packet, and I had like fresh Thai basil. So I made that. Now we're just gonna have it on top of sticky rice with egg, but so disappointed because I really wanted to try the Szechuan eggplant like I've just been craving it and I knew I had that eggplant in my fridge so I was so happy about it but it's not gonna work out I swear I've been grocery shopping like every day or every other day this week and yet I still probably need to go grocery shopping tomorrow again because I don't have any green vegetables oh my god wait I didn't even tell you the most important part which is that from tomorrow, JB and I are supposed to go on one meal a day. So this is something I've tried before. I think I tried this at the end of last year. I only did it for like a month and a half or two months, probably two months. Um, it was incredibly difficult to start with, but I was on a trip with a friend and she was doing one meal a day and she basically terrorized me because at that time I was trying to lose weight for my wedding and she was just she literally bullied me into one meal a day this woman had me walking around on my vacation just starving for days um and she would only let me eat basic and she would only let me eat dinner but that's just what I needed I needed somebody like 
on me to force that habit into me and it was really hard but then by the time I came back to Nepal it was pretty easy and I just got used to it now this time I don't have her I have me and my husband and JB and I I mean if you can tell from our vlogs we're like huge foodies we love to eat we eat a lot we have massive appetites we struggle with uh, we really struggle when it comes to resisting temptation and resisting food so i really don't know how this is gonna go we're literally bickering all day like an old married couple anyways so now that we're gonna be hungry i don't know how that's gonna go but i don't think it's a good for like a long-term thing but for a short term i think that would be good we just really want to try it up until the end of August if we can and then hopefully in September we'll be getting out of Nepal and then we can just go wild on vacation and eat whatever we want but right now we both really need to get our diet together and lose weight. Now I've tried so many things in the past like I've tried where I just limit carbs, I limit sugar and I just kind of eat in moderation but that's when I had more willpower. <laughs> right now I really don't have willpower. So I think I just have to go for something extreme, you know, like go big or go home. So we're going to try one meal a day from tomorrow. I think one of the great things about doing a diet like one meal a day is that you can eat whatever you want. So it's not like we're restricting sugar or carbs or eating out. We still get to do all of that, but we just get one big meal a day. So yeah, tomorrow we start on that. And um, I was kind of the one who forced this idea upon JB. And he was kind of like, no. And then one day, all of a sudden, he's like, okay, let's do it. And he just like kind of called my bluff. So now I'm like, shit. <laughs> like, I've got to drive this thing now and we'll see how it goes. Watch how I'm talking to you tomorrow at like 11 a.m. having a full-blown lunch and not doing it at all. We'll see how it goes. So, okay, I'm going to go downstairs. I'm going to do some work until JB comes home because dinner is basically done because all i had to do with was like stir fry some meat add some basil rice is already in the rice cooker hi, hi. bad news what? thank you uh the eggplant was beautiful oh, shit. no i made a uh, basil chicken you want an egg? On the egg? Basil chicken? Yeah. Yeah. Crispy egg, right? What's this? I eat dinner. What is your Crack. Egg yolk first. Flip the egg. You're going to get a nice first bite that has rice and pork and basil and egg yolk and chili oil. And the doctors are already different opinion. And it stands to reason. We have two burgers. We have a couple of donuts. Mm -hmm. And uh, chicken nuggies. Chicken nuggets. You guys won't believe the efforts we went through to get this. What? I think it's leaking. No, it's probably because it got rained on. Rusty, this is not for you, Papa. It's our last year of normal living. <laughs> Mm. Okay. I'm going to try this one as well. Okay. So the nuggets are here. Put this here. Put this here. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> I'm going to eat the donut at last. Which one this is? Oh, it's the ranch. ranch. BLT. This is the ranch BLT. Oh, wow. What is that? Spicy, Spicy chicken. Spicy chicken. Mmm. Mm. Good egg? I ate a bit of the paper. Mmm. <laughs> hmm. Which one do you like better? The ranch BLT, right? Yeah. This one's a cold straw, yeah? Just eight. Oh, I... Probably a million calories in like yeah. 15 minutes. Anyways. Well, the good good thing is we're starting OMAD from tomorrow. We are going to be yeah. 
fighting like cats and dogs. I can just tell. Let's oh, do you didn't. Hmm? Fist bump. Fist bump, fist bump. Oh, it's the door like the fist. Get the my God. Was that meal necessary? No. Was it smart? No. Was it good? Yeah. Guys, okay, so it is probably around 6 p.m. right now. JB already got ready and left because he has an event tonight. It's the opening of the Hilton Hotel. I was actually supposed to join him, but then my best friend Anki decided to schedule a girl's dinner at her place tonight. So obviously, I'm going to go hang out with my girls and he's gone for that event. Now, I just got dressed. I ended up wearing eyeshadow, which I never do anymore. So my face and my makeup is really throwing me off right now. But hopefully it'll kind of like settle in. You know how makeup always looks better a little bit after you wear it? Right now I just feel like my makeup is looking really heavy for a girl's night in. But whatever. Uh, let me show you guys my dress. I'm wearing... How do I do this? Dress. It's a little loose here. It's new so I haven't tried it on before today. I probably need to get this tape to handle. I also still need to take off the tag. But it comes down until about... You can see my shin. Yeah, this is the fit for today. I need to wear perfume. I'm I don't know if this happens to anyone else, but sometimes in the summer, I really miss my wintertime perfumes. Like tonight is a hot summer's night, but I haven't worn my favorite winter perfume in so many months. Ugh, I just miss it so much. So I'm actually going to wear this, and so I will be smelling a little bit like Christmas in the middle of July. But that's just how it's going to be because I miss her. This is Angel Share by Killian. It's like, smells like cinnamon and apple and brandy. It's like a Christmas holiday, <laughs> which isn't exactly the vibe for tonight. But like I said, I just miss her. I miss this perfume. I love her so much. Right. Now I need to select a bag. Hmm. I think I'm going to go with... A brown bag, maybe? Uh, I think I might go with this bag. Let me just see. Okay, so for bag, I think I'm going to go with this one. This is a Celine bag that was a gift from my husband during our wedding. I think it goes well with the colors in this dress, although I don't have shoes that match it so i may have to wear black shoes but yeah anyways all right i'm gonna pack this bag and then let russ out to do his business and then i'm gonna head out the door i'm now on the way got the ooh, got her a bottle of wine and yeah i'm really excited for girls night this week it's kind of just been bleh. it's not really been giving i've been feeling a little frustrated some things from work have been like stuck so I just, I don't know, I've just kind of been feeling in a rut and so I'm really excited for tonight. Sometimes you just need, need a session with your girls. I've made it. We're ready for girls night. What, about you? Okay. <laughs> what, what the f is on the side of your face? What? What's that? Where? There, that this. huge ass, no. What, what? is that? What? I swear to God. <laughs> what you... What's that? That's a mole. You always have. Oh. <laughs> I thought it was a kiragi. I thought it was you. a ladybug. You always had that? Yeah. Your I whole thought... life? Yeah. It doesn't look bigger though. I've never. I think it grew. Ever noticed that as a side. Of... I thought it was a ladybug. Dude, even you freaked me out, man. I mean, I knew I, was, I, I knew I had this, but it is. That I've never noticed that. Ever. Hey, it's my activity filter, Aleo. It's high now. What's that white light? I wish filter. <laughs> the light of your hey. thing. Hey, you can't put filter. You can't put filter. Hey. Everyone's gonna see what I really have. 